Hi, this is Paul, with, and we, uh, we will continue to, with creating our classes for our uh, Star Trek battle. So, so far we have all the abstract classes and we have the Galaxy class, which is the concrete implementation. Uh, but we need uh, three more classes, which is uh, the Defiant class for the uh, Federation and Battle Cruiser and Bird of Prey for the uh, Klingon. So, let's do that. So, I have Galaxy class. Federation and Defiant class or Defiant class that's going to be for the Federation, the second ship. It's going to be the uh, second ship for the Federation. So, uh, what we need now, this one will have three weapons. That's the only ship with three weapons. It has a phaser, it has a torpedoes, and a, it has a font, photon torpedoes and quantum torpedoes. So, let's do that. So we need a private integer, let's say, photon torpedoes and a private integer quantum torpedoes. All right, and uh, we need to define, remember from the galaxy, we define the strength of each of the torpedoes. So let me just copy paste it over here. So our phaser, this, this ship has a phaser as well. You can see it's a phaser uh, and the strength is one so it's it stays the same now the torpedoes have different strengths the photon torpedo has a strength of two as you can see uh, over here photon torpedo strength of two and quantum torpedo has a strength of four so our constant integer quantum tor uh, torpedo Torpedo strength equals four for this ship. Now the constructor, the fine class, just like before for Galaxy, we can just copy paste the whole thing because it expects the registry name and shield and passes all three of them to the base class. So I'll just copy paste it right there. And uh, now we define the quantity for the for the torpedoes. Now phasers are unlimited, we don't have to do anything with those, but photon torpedoes and quantum torpedoes each have a quantity of one. So uh, we can do P torpedoes equals one. That's how we initialize it. And Q torpedoes equals one as well. And just like before, we need the fire method to override from our uh, abstract classes uh, and uh, this will have the logic how to fire the, you know and how to hit so for now we'll just have return zero and that's that's our uh, galaxy and defined class which is the uh, uh, federation so now we can do um, which one is the uh, Oh, the battle cruiser and the bird of prey. So the battle cruiser, it will have again. Uh, battle cruiser has uh, disruptors, just like phasers. They unlimited. We don't have to do anything with those yet. And photon torpedoes, just like all these ones have, but the strength is two, and uh, quantity is ten. So it's not just like the galaxy uh, class. So let me just really uh copy paste this whole thing to our battle cruiser but we don't need the phasers they, uh, because there's no phasers that uh, what it is it's a uh, this rap tor because this ship the klingon ships they have disruptors not phasers uh over here so disruptor strength will be one, I believe. Uh, it'll look right. Yeah, one and torpedo will have two. So that's one and two. That's correct. And do public override um, outside of the class. Sometimes I type just and actually I still need a constructor. Good thing anyway. So public bottle cruiser. And it expects strings of name 
an integer of the shield, the initial shield, and it is passed to the base class, so base, name, and shield. And over here we can just initialize the torpedoes to 10, that's the initial quantity that the uh, like the initial ammo and just like before let's override the fire method to do uh, for now return zero okay so that's that and finally a bird of prey and that will be very similar so I'll just copy paste all of this it has the torpedoes and which one is the that's the bread of prey it has disruptors unlimited one uh, unlimited quantity and one strength and four time torpedoes now this one has three torpedoes only as an ammo but the strength is two as well so uh, Torpedo strength stays the same and so does the disruptor. And let's do the public bird of prey string name and initial uh, and in integer shield just like before pass to our base class name and shield. And over here we will initialize the torpedoes to three. That's the initial ammo that we get. And finally, let's override the fire. And that's going to simply, just like before, to do and return zero. Now, this is our complete structure. Now, all we, well, not all we have to do, now we have to do the main thing, which is to code the logic, you know, to determine the, uh, what ship fires, what ship gets hit, uh, what ship is destroyed uh, when the game is over and all that good stuff. So uh, join me in the next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Take care.